Let me show you another example using this little can. An ordinary sort of can that uh, once had uh, something in it that uh, one would eat. And I'm just going to roll the can along the table here for you. The table must not be level. Let me try it from this direction. Well, what's going on? We started out giving the can some kinetic energy, energy of motion. It was rolling. But eventually, it came to rest. All of that energy disappeared. And then it turned around, and it came back. The energy sort of magically reappeared. But remember, energy can never be created or destroyed. So that energy must have been stored somewhere. And I'll bet you can guess that somehow the energy was stored inside the can. And indeed, since this is science, not magic, I want to show you that inside the can is a rubber band, and the rubber band has some lead weights on it. And so as the, rubber, as the can rolls, the rubber band twists up, and energy is stored in that stretched rubber band. That's another form of potential energy. So the kinetic energy of rolling changed into potential energy, and then that potential energy came back in kinetic energy, and the can came back to me. So it's a very nice demonstration of the idea that energy is always conserved. It only changes from one form to another.